The COVID-19 pandemic has helped make epidemiology a household term. This branch of medicine includes disease control and prevention and examines everything from cancer to mental health. In this episode of Spider Talks, Health Studies Professor Katherine Jacobson, an epidemiologist, will share her expertise in global and public health. Catherine, I'm delighted to talk with you. I'm glad to have a conversation. What would surprise people to learn about being an epidemiologist? Most people have heard the term, but I think there is a misperception now that epidemiology is just infectious disease. And it really is much bigger than that. Any health issue is epidemiology, whether it's cancer, heart disease, mental health, injuries, tobacco, or infections. The health studies major at the University of Richmond is booming. Is this something that was happening prior to the pandemic? Health studies, public health education at the undergraduate level has been a a huge growth area across the country for more than 10 years. So that trajectory was there before the pandemic, and I don't think it's going to go away. We have climate change issues related to health. We've got all sorts of chronic diseases and mental health issues that are not going to go away when the pandemic recedes. So health studies is going to be booming for many years to come. You've authored more than 200 peer-reviewed journal articles, including one in the past year with nine of your students. I think part of the secret sauce of this university is the relationship with faculty and their students and the mentored research process. Can you tell me a little bit about that research and how it came to fruition? What was different about this co-authored paper with students here was that this came out of a seminar. So they were taking a special topics course on global infectious diseases, and one stood out. So African eye worm, or low ISS, stood out to the class. So we spent the last month of the term reading everything that's ever been published on low ISS and drafting a call for action a call to have this added to the WHO priority list. So it's exciting that this paper could change policy. It could have a real world effect and and that's really exciting. You and I both taught elsewhere for many years and are both relatively new to UR. What drew you here? So I don't know about you, did you get to come to campus before you accepted the job? I did. So I interviewed entirely on Zoom, and I accepted the job before I had ever set foot on campus. So I was really just deciding uh, based on what I heard about UR's priorities and values and mission, and the people that I interacted with on Zoom. And uniformly, faculty, staff, students love UR. They love what they learn here. They find community here. And so based on that, the commitment to the liberal arts, the uh, passion for international education, this seemed like a place that would be a great fit. And that's turned out to be the case, uh, despite having come here without having seen it first. (laughs) That's great. Many people come here and see the campus and it draws them. And it's great that you were drawn even prior to seeing it. I'm delighted that you're here on our faculty. I'm glad to be here.